Good day guys and welcome to another episode of Today with Season. So for today's episode is we're gonna talking about calculus uh, problems uh, involving real life situations. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. And since we are here at the Piafi Boulevard, so we are going to talk for today about population growth. So here is the problem. The population of Piape Boulevard grows at a rate of E raised to 2.6x minus 2x people per year, where x is the number of year. At year 2, the town has 55,500. Question number 1. Approximately by how many people does the population grow between the year 2 and year 5? Question number 2. What is the town's population at year 5? So now guys, we already know the problem. Let's answer the question number one. So join with me. So the question number one is that approximately by how many people does the population between t is equal to 2 and t is equal to 5. So since we are going to uh, get the population between year 2 and year 5, therefore we are going to use the definite integral. So this would be our equation. So please would be like this so the definite integral from year 2 to year 5 and since in the problem we have here the rate so this would be our equation so it would be e 2.6 x minus 2 x since this is a in decimal form so we this would be sometimes uh, much difficult so we are going to change this into a fraction form so it would become the definite integral from 2 to 5 e raised to so in fraction this is 2.6 is equal to 13 over 5 so e 13 over 5 x minus 2 x then since we have already this fraction in fraction form, we are going to integrate this equation. So if we are going to integrate this equa equation, we can get the answer for the question number one. So it would be like this. So the integration of two uh, from two to five e raised to thirteen over five x minus the int uh, two integration from two raised to five x. So first, we are going to integrate this e raised to 13 over 5. So to integrate this one, we have the uh, guide which is like this one. Uh, the integration of e, e x is equal to 1 over a, e, a raised to x. So since our a here is 13 over 5, so the integration of this would be um, 1 over the a which is 13 over 5 then uh, copy a 13 over 5 x and to simplify furthermore this equation so we are going to multiply it by the reciprocal of this 13 over 5 so 5 over 13 then our the integration of this uh, uh, term would be um, 30, uh, 5 e 13 over 5 x over 13 then after that we are going to get the integration of this next term so let's copy so it's equal to 5 e uh, 13 over 5 x over 13 minus so the, it would be 2 so t squared over 2 then we are going to simplify this one so it would become 5 e 13 over 5 x over 13 minus t uh, x squared so, from 2 to 5 so now we have this equation now we are going to evaluate this definite integral by substitute, substituting this upper bound and 
lower band. We are going to subtract it out. So, this would become 5e raised ter to 13 over 5, which uh, we are going to substitute this first, the 5, so times 5 over 13 minus 5 squared, then subtracted to the lower bound, which is 2, so it will become 5e 13 over 5 times 2 over 13 minus 2 squared. Then, uh, evaluate further, so it would become 5e raised to 13 over, uh, 13 over 5 times 5 is 13, so that is 13 uh, over 13 minus 5 squared, so 5 times 5 is equal to 25 minus uh, 5e 13 over 5 times 2, so the answer of this one is 26 over 5 over 13 minus 2 squared, which is 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then, sim uh, Evaluate far farther, so this would become since we have here an um, improper fraction, we are going to get the mixed fraction to get the simplified version for this one. So 5e 13 over 13 minus 25 minus 5e. So the uh, the mixed number of this 26 over 5 is equivalent to uh, is equivalent to 2 and 1 fifth. So this would become 5e squared times e 1 fifth over 13 minus 4. Then this would become 5e raised to 13 over 13 minus 25 minus uh, 5e squared then we're going to make, to make this in a radical form, so it would become uh, the, uh, the fifth root of e over 13 minus 4. Then 5e raised to 13 over 13 minus 25. Then uh, uh, distribute this negative sign to this uh, equation, so it would become uh, negative times positive, this would be negative 5e squared to the fifth root of e over 13, then negative 1 times negative 4, that would become positive 4. Then, evaluate this one, 5e raised to 13 over 13, then negative 25 and this positive 4, so that would become uh, negative 21 minus 5e squared to the fifth root of e over 13. Then, we are going to uh, to make this in a one term, so it would become 5e raised to 13 times 5e squared to the fifth root of this e over 13 minus 21 and guys if you are going to calculate the answer of this using your calculator you will uh, end up with a total answer of one uh, approximately 170,068 so this would be a so this is the total population between year 2 and year 5. So we can now answer the second question which is what is the town's population at year 5. So to answer this one what we are going to do is just to add the total number of population in year 2 to our answer in question number 1. So to solve this so the total number of population in year 5 would become a uh, 55,500 plus this 170,068. Then the answer for that would be 225,568. So this would be the total population in year 5. So that is our answer for the question number 2. So guys, that was a very so long uh, formula. 
or a step. So, we have also other way to answer that one by using the curve in a graph. So, like this one, if you are going to solve that. So, this would be our time and this would be our rate. This would become from the year 2 and year 5. So, that is, we can also solve this in this form. But, this would be my challenge for you guys. You should answer this one and please comment your answer in the comment section and I will choose some people. So thank you guys for listening. I hope you learned a lot from that video. And so for our next episode, we're gonna learn more about than that. So before I end this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please hit the like button and turn on the notification bell to be updated whenever I upload a post. So that is all guys. Thank you. And this is Today with Season. See you on my next episode. Bye.